So yes, part two of my answer to King Cosma's princess, princess's question. <laughs> ah, who'd have thought? Two part, two parts to one question. <laughs> anyway, so Poe, not Poe, excuse me, Shen helps Poe escape, and he brings him to his little hidey hole or whatever little shitty place, the shitty and just dismal and just lonely place. And Poe at first he's like, "Wow, those were some cool moves out there, dude." And he doesn't, he doesn't know it's Shen. Like I said, he doesn't know it's Shen. And sure, the tail could give it away, but like I said, Shen can wear a long ass robe, people. Not to men. Not also, he's dirty and rugged, so I'm pretty sure that his tail will be full of dirt, which means it would be kind of dark. He's full of dirt, people. He's full of dirt. He's dirty, okay? Because he's not living it up and uh, shit. And uh, also, he has not had a good meal in a very long time. He can, he can like, I can also picture him like, ending up eating like some of the bugs and shit, and buying this disgusting broth or whatever it is. It's disgusting and like horrible rice and stuff. And he has, he's not living it up. He's not in a good situation, folks. So anyway, he brings Poe to his little hidey hole or whatever, and Poe thanks the guy, like. And all that shit. And, uh... Well, Shen reveals himself. And Poe, I can... Uh, since I love Poe, and I, I also study Poe's behavior, I would bet that Poe's reaction would be total dumbstruck, what the fuck. Or like, holy crap, what the fuck, you know? And he'd totally jump back and actually, like, make a defense position or whatever. Because, well, duh, it's Shen, motherfuckers. It's Shen. And he thought he was dead. Everyone thought he was dead. And Shen's like, well, okay, yeah, Poe says, like, Shen. Like, he's like, Shen? What? How is that? How is this possible? I mean, you went, you know? And then Shen, in his loopy kind of drunk state, um... Kind of tells Poe his little stories like, Yes, I thought I would little, have a little brush with death. But apparently, oh, well, I guess luck was on my side that day. Apparently, even in the face of death and defeat, luck was on his side. And um, he kind of like narrates, like tells his story, like what happened exactly. And uh, I can totally picture it in a flashback too. I either animated or just... or. CGI, like showing him accept his death, but instead he ends up not getting crushed, he ends up falling before the cannon can actually hit him, and uh, he ends up sinking, he ends up sinking and nearly like dying, He, like he said, I nearly had a brush with death, but apparently that wasn't the case, so he, he decided to save himself, he's like, I decide to keep going, from that, like that very split second, I decided to keep going, and um, so, he was sinking to the bottom because why? His metal talons, bitches. Metal can't float, plus it weighs shit down. Metal can't float. So what he ended up doing is removing his metal talons as fast as he could. He was holding his breath for dear life, and he was removing his metal talons simultaneously and after he did that he swam up and just did what he could to just swim away and end up hiding somewhere and he could he tells Poe that he like wandered a bit and he was he I could probably picture him be getting injured or something like that probably getting a broken wing or something like that I don't know he ended up like in pain or maybe a broken or sprained leg I don't know and um I don't know and um he, he tells him, like, how he's been, like, wandering and just, like, eating and th thriving on what he could have and stuff. Like, whatever food he could find. He would forage shit. He would find, like, berries or whatever, including bugs, which he finds absolutely disgusting and disgraceful and just humiliating. But what the hell can he eat? Like, what? And not to mention peacocks are omnivorous and they can't eat bugs. And little small lizards. Little small lizards. That makes no fucking sense. I'm going to say little lizards, okay? Let's just go with that. Little reptiles or whatever. And all oh, that shit. So, um... So, yeah, he tells Poe his story in his loopy, drunk state. And, um... Yeah, he took on the role of the fisherman. He's doing whatever he can to get by. He's been planning his revenge. And he's like, now I have you where I want you. 
And, um... Yeah, okay, maybe he could have his halberd with him, which would be cool. Yeah, I can, yeah, I can also actually, actually actually picture him having his halberd still, so... Yeah, and he still has his, uh... So he has his fishing hook thing, rope dart thing, and his halberd still. And, uh, I don't know about his throwing knives, maybe, I don't know. Um, but mostly his halberd and that fishing hook rope dart thing. And, um... So he's like, now I have you right where I want you, and I can finally have what is my rightfully mine, and all that stuff. In his, once again, in his loopy, drunk state. This is not good. If you thought Shen was crazy before, think of, like, th you ain't seen nothing. Once he's drunk and crazy and hellbent and pissed and vengeful at the same time. <laughs> that, that's not, oh my god. And, okay, so... He wants to kill Poe, and actually, okay, also before this, actually, I can also picture Shen being so depressed and kind of just loopy and just roaming around and just like, I'm like, I finally have him, I like, finally have him, <laughs> like, you know, like, so he's like, has these thoughts in his hand, he's just like, <laughs> like, talking to himself a little bit, and Poe's just watching, he's like, okay, what the the hell but he's also but he's also like oh my god what the hell happened to him like what the hell happened to you shen and all that stuff and um shen's kind of like ignoring him at first he's just talking to himself he's like muttering and he's talking like both drunk and loopy and just crazy you know psychotic well it's not psychotic but deranged and um poe sees his like little model gun in cities <laughs> and he well, looks at it and Shen, I could actually just totally picture t uh, yelling at him, saying, just don't touch that. It's mine, you know, it's just mine, 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 mine. Make my precious. No, not like that. Nothing like that, motherfuckers. Nothing like Gollum. I'm sorry about that. I just had to do that. <laughs> and, uh, so yeah, and then while Shen is in this drunk state, I can actually picture him, like, feeling, like, so depressed that he ends up, start he ends up crying a little bit. He's letting all his feelings out because he's drunk. He's not bottled up anymore while he's drunk. He's letting every one of his feelings out. And I can just picture him being so depressed that he ends up starts he ends up crying a little bit. And Poe, I can totally picture Poe feeling a little bad for him. He's like, "Oh my God, this guy's been through so much. Like, what can I do? You know, like what the hell?" And then again, he's also trying to kill me. He also wants to kill me. Like, he tried to kill me before. What, what makes you think he'll not kill you, try killing you again? And so he kind of has a little trust issues with Shen. He's like, oh, shit, shit. I should probably just make my getaway now. But then again, I should probably try helping him. So, um... Shen crazily and drunkishly... That's not a real word, you know I don't give a shit. Um decides to not only kill Poe, for some reason I am a morbid, I, this is morbid and sadistic to even think about, but it's Shen, motherfuckers, and what the hell, it's Shen. Let me, let me, let me say this scenario shit. And so, not only does Shen want, decide to, well, kill Poe, he decides to, <laughs> oh god, I can't believe I'm saying it, he decides to also eat him. Because, like I said before, he has not had a good meal in a very long time. He's like, I wonder what panda would taste like, you know? And he's, like, w still walking and staggering. He has this, like, look on his face. And he's, like, kind of, like, loopy and, like, tilting his head, cocking his head to the side. And he's, like, this big, wide, crazy look on his face. And he's, like, I wonder what panda would taste like. And he gets his halberd out and he's, like, ready for the kill. He's, like, you know? I he's, out he's out for blood, literally. He's out for blood. Panda blood. Again. So he tries killing Poe once again. Poe dodges him, but... Eh. I don't know. And the outcome of it? I don't know. He could either hit Shen with a bottle on the head. The classic hitting someone with a, a wine bottle or whatever. To the head or whatever. And knocking him out. Or just tying him up somehow, with it, or maybe with his own fishing, uh, fishing hook, uh, rope dart thing, maybe. And um, I can picture Poe offering him the chance to start anew and redeem himself. He's giving him another chance, 
and uh, by uh, g- like to get another chance, like all that shit, by h- working with him in order to save China from whatever evil or whatever threat is approaching or whatever. And Shen is like over my dead body, and all that. So he's like, no, no, hell no, I would never work for someone like you. I would never work with you, Panda, and all that stuff. And uh, Poe's kind of like insistent, like he persists a little bit. And he's like, dude. Look at where you are. Do you really want this? And do you really have to be just so vengeful for the rest of your life? And do do you really... Don't let old sins cast long shadows. You know, just don't... Make it... Make all those things a thing of the past and just let bygones be bygones. You know, he tried to tell him that before, he's telling him it again. And Shin's just like, no, 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 no. While he's drunk. Still drunk. I don't know. He's like, no, 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 no. And so, yeah, eventually, uh, Poe Poe convinces him to tag along and ally himself with him, even though they're not on good terms. Well, he, even though Shen feels like he's not on good terms with him, Poe feels like he can help Shen. You know, he's trying to help him. He's being a good Samaritan and helping the dude. So, um, yeah, I, I can totally picture the Furious Five not approving of it, not being, appro- not approving this at all. They don't approve at all. But Poe's like, trust me, guys, come on. And Tigers totally feels like, totally like, like totally bitchy about it. And she's like, we cannot trust him after what he's done and all that stuff. And Poe's like, I trust him. And if anything, I mean, if he does try stabbing us in the back, I'll, I'll do something about it. I'll fix that. Or if Tigers can threaten. Like, if he does something stupid, if he, if, is there any one, if he actually shows any, like, one good reason to backstab anyone, he will, she will, like, kill him personally. So. And all that shit. And I can totally picture, like, as Shen is, like, allied with himself, he could probably get, like, new clothes later. Like, you know, like, finally, regal clothes. He's like, I've forgotten what this felt like. You know, like, yeah, it's like he's missed this feeling, and he's all clean again. And he's all nice and white and just regal again, and ready to kick some ass. You know, even though he's kind of a little booby guy. And I actually, I can actually picture one point where he thinks he's hallucinating. And he's like, "I've got to stop drinking." <laughs> you know, he's not an alcoholic, but he drinks just to just to brood over shit. I just pictured that in my head. And so he allies himself with Poe. The two have these awkward bromance moments. I, actually, I can actually also picture one thing in my head. It's awkward as hell, but I probably shouldn't mention it to you. I probably shouldn't mention it to you. Maybe I should. I don't know. Should I? Okay, it involves mouth to mouth, you know? Not like resuscitation, you know? It involves that. <laughs> Yeah, nothing post-Shenish, you know, not that, that, but it's just awkward, and it's, I think it's funny. I think it's amusing, even though Poe and Shen would have my ass for that. <laughs> and I could totally picture Shen being totally grossed out, and both of them being grossed out. We're like, ah, oh my god. Like, and then Shen would Shen be like, we, this is only between us. We are never mentioning this to anyone. Understood? And Poe's like, yeah, totally. I can totally get it. I can totally, I can forget it instantly. <laughs> and all that shit. What else can I picture? I don't know. Maybe I can also picture one other thing while they're on a boat or something and it's just like very, very, very rocky and Shen gets like sick, you know? And he's like, Panda, you owe me lunch. You owe me. You owe me big time after this. He's like, you, like, you, like, oh my, and Poe's like, okay, yeah, sure. I can totally picture Shen being sick and being like, Panda, you owe me after this. You so owe me. <laughs> or maybe like, once this is over, Panda, I'm gonna kill you. You know, I don't know. Or you owe me. Basically, you owe me, Panda. You owe me big time. So yeah. But if that scenario doesn't happen, the one that I brewed up in my brain, I honestly don't know what DreamWorks will do Shen if they make Shen survive. And I really have to end this in like like a few seconds. I honestly don't know. It'd be their decision, and I will high, highly respect it. But I can just totally picture this whole freaking scenario in my head—the one that I just narrate and just totally summarize for you people. 
Also, let me know what you think of that, this scenario in my head. Uh, I would appreciate it if you said nice things. I, I doubt you're going to say bad things, but, you know, I, I honestly don't know. So, once again, I honestly don't know what Dreamworx would do for Shen if they make him survive. I don't know. If they end up doing something like I just said, that'd be a little crazy. Great minds, great minds think alike, I guess. <laughs> so, um, there's that answer for you. King Cosmos Princess, and I hope you uh, enjoyed listening.